What's up guys? I wanted to do a quick stream um, drawing some sea turtles. And I really like sea turtles. Um, but they can, they can be a bit tricky to draw. So I kind of just want to like kind of just do some sketches. Figure out a way to sort of simplify it. I would actually like to uh, I would like to draw this in 3D at some point in time. So I've been trying to sort of draw things in a way that would uh, that would that would translate well to 3D. And that basically means that basically means um, just keeping things simple. But it's a lot harder than it actually seems. But I guess that's the that's the rub with with drawing and make, making things simple and making things sort of cartoony. Is it's not it's not very easy. It's actually very very difficult. And that's why I always appreciate when people say, oh, like your stuff looks looks like Disney, looks like Disney. And what that translates to me in my head is that the proportions are right. It looks believable as the creature it is, is supposed to be. And it looks cute and obviously anthropomorphized well, which is another thing that isn't, isn't very easy. Okay, so here I should... Okay, so the head is is tricky, the eyes and the mouth. That's where a lot of the oops. That's where a lot of the cartooning and stuff comes into it. So I'm gonna figure that out on a, I'm gonna figure that out on a new layer. This way I can uh, when I make mistakes, I can easily fix them. Let me move this guy. Let me go ahead and merge this. Um, I guess I should just use the. Let me use this this um, reference tool. I never use. I never usually use it, but I should. Okay, so where is it? Oh, this tur this photo is actually quite old. So, excuse me for a moment while I find this image. I did use the reference tool for a while, and then I kind of just stopped using it. I'm not sure if it was because I just forgot about it, or... You never know. Gotta remember how to actually maneuver this thing. Uh, maybe this is why I stopped using it. I made a tutorial about it. I'm going to have to look up the tutorial and figure out how to use this again. Because this is very annoying. Okay, so I should be able to just move it wherever I want. Let me get rid of this and we'll see how we do. Okay. So, for the eyes, so I want to keep it simple. I want to. So, his eyes sort of. They sort of come out here. And it's interesting because there's a certain way that I draw characters. So I might start, I might just start that way. 
Here, I'll just draw it the way it is. So these big eyes like this. Something like that. But I think this would actually be back a little bit. Yeah, I think that actually looks better. not too bad he has his little chin but actually oops I'm so used to like making this bigger by so you can't really see his mouth that well but he actually has a, quite a big chin. I'll try to do this bigger so you guys can see clearly. And also this actually comes out, so let me, let me try liquefy and just bring that out a bit. head. Let me just merge these. It's easier to sort of make changes. I drew his head kind of big actually. Maybe a little too big. See what liquefy does. If I just skinny up his head a little bit, uh, start to look a little less turtle-like. So usually what I do is I duplicate it and then I start again. So for this one, now I'll actually since I did the sketch of a little bit close to the the reference. I'm just going to try just doing a straight cartoon version. color. I always make a mistake of drawing the eyes in too early. I don't know why I do it, but I always do it. It's like I can't help it. Even though I know I'm going to have to change it later. Okay, 
Okay, so we'll do a little bubble here. We'll make them give them a nice round head. Give them a little bit of a sharp beak, but not too sharp. I don't know, I don't like this. I don't like this already. And this is my process. Okay, so their nose is sort of come off there at the bridge of their head. I should actually be really good at drawing turtles because uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles was my jam back in the day. And that's what I used to draw all the time. Figure out the best way to make his little turtle mouth. And sometimes less detail I've found is better. And give him a little chin, maybe. Let's see how that looks. I don't think he needs, needs that. That defined of a chin.
What's up, John? What's up, 90? So, um, I would say... I would say 8 times out of 10, I get a comment about a ASMR. So, I'm going to start adding it to my video tags. Because you guys must be on to something. Or maybe I'm on to something? I'm not sure. Maybe I'll make his cheek a little rounder. Yeah, maybe a little rounder cheeks here. So I like that better than the other one. Oops. The other one just looks more realistic, I guess. But if you guys are enjoying the ASMR video so far, please hit like. I'd appreciate it. Um, also, that's my Instagram if you guys want to follow or check out some work. I actually just did a, um, I just did some guinea pigs. Guinea pigs are really difficult for me to draw. I've always struggled with guinea pigs, but I, I figured I need to, con I need to conquer some guinea pigs and draw them. So finally today they they came out looking all right. Okay, let's experiment with where his mouth can be. Just because you should always experiment because you might find something you like better. Yeah, I think it's pretty good where I have it, actually. Interesting. Okay, so I don't know if I want his flipper to be as round. Oops. Okay, so I just want to do some curves. Okay, so let's dig into the shell a little bit. Let me get rid of this one, so I don't really need it right now. I'm going to make a new layer in case I mess up on the shell. So, uh, it's hard for me because I have certain things that I do that I feel like help me draw turtle shells. So this is what I usually do. And I'm going to look at the image, but I'm also just going to do what I've done in the past that helps me draw turtle shells. And I always make these three lines. So far, so good. This one would be here. And I draw the triangle coming off of all of them. They're actually quite big. Then I make the line coming down. Okay, and then you have this line. 
that sort of goes around. Actually, let me curve these back. Because he has a little bit of a... He has some cool shapes in his shell. That I like to draw, so... I guess I don't really need to make those. But he has them, so we'll keep them. Okay. Hey, what's up, King? Yeah, I figured, um... Uh, I'd had some time earlier this today, so I was like, let me so I was like, let me do this behind the page because I was thinking about it, and I was like, let me do it before I forget it. So of course, not a problem. Yeah, that's. I mean, so far I really like the Disney pencil. I did have to change a few things because uh, I had it on a different setting. I had it on. What did I have it on? I think I had it on a heavy glaze, and I just found that I it I didn't really like how I could fill in. So with uniform, like when I'm doing eyes and things like that, and I felt like this was just a lot cleaner filling in lines. So this was the main issue that I had. Although I like this one, it just seemed to work better with uniform glaze. Small thing, but, you know, since I'm always doing eyes and stuff, it kind of makes a big difference. Speaking of eyes, this one actually looks good. I should do these on a different layer, but I always, I always do them on this layer. You'd think I'd learn by now, but... Yeah, I just like that clean look when I just want to shade some things in. Still some work to be done with these eyes. I think I'm noticing that this is a little f further down than the other eye. Let's see. See how that looks. Yeah. There's always lots of little things that I notice that I Okay, so for the other, the other, uh, foot flipper, let me go ahead and merge these down. Live dangerously. So his other flipper is sort of like this, and it comes out. Something like that. Just not terrible. Like that was, so... I don't have a problem with the shape, more just the positioning. I just want to figure out what looks the most natural. Oops. 
Why would this move? Yeah, I don't know if I like this. I'm too crazy with my movements. Like, why would this thing move? Anyway. Oh, you know, that wasn't even the cat. That was my fiance. Unless you mean the cat, unless you mean the outdoor cat from the other video. Um, and also, Disney Inc. is... Oh, maybe you made Disney Inc. Did you make it from that video? Maybe that's what you mean. Um, but... Yeah, cause I, obviously that, that's what you mean. Because these, I... I need to make, I want to make a couple more for a couple different things that I want to do. And then I'm going to put them on, uh, and then I'll put them on, on Gumroad. People love to buy brushes. But I also love, like, I, I like, the stock brushes are absolutely phenomenal. But there's just something to be desired. Like, I really like Procreate Pencil. Where's that one at? I like it, but I'm not crazy about the kind of blur jitter that gives it the texture. Like I rather the, the pastel look for the texture, almost like a really thick number two pencil. Like I, I like that more. There's plants. So that's incredible. But you know what's funny is I never really think that like, A, that someone's gonna watch and this is probably going to sound weird because I've been on YouTube forever and I do tutorials and things like that. But I never think someone's going to watch my videos all the way through. Nor do I think that they're going to, like, make the brushes that I'm making. Like, so that wasn't even actually a thought in my mind when I was making the video. It was just like, oh, you know, like, if someone's interested. But um, that's awesome. That's cool. I love it. Because I just, I mean, I'm always sketching and there's, there's a certain sketch look that I like. Uh, and I like how I like how thick this one is, and um, I haven't even really do, done like clean sketches over these sketches. I just like the way they look so much. Okay, so if I'm gonna do the other his other flapper, so I feel like it would be here. You can go a little thicker with this, so I can. Oh yeah, something like that feels a bit better to me. That feels a bit nice. And maybe we'll just kind of color this in so it gives it that like depth. And I can actually use, um, this is the Sketchmaster 2, but I want to name it to something else because this kind of, this gives the texture, obviously, but it's not, but it's based off of my Sketchmaster 2 brush. So this is for when I do want to have that texture, but uniformly. I was, last night I was so frustrated at the cat. Oh no, I don't. I just put it on and it charges. Um, I thought it was going to be an issue, but yeah, it works. I have to go to the bathroom real quick, so I'm going to play. I'm going to play you guys. Let's see if I can move this. See if I can make it smaller. I'll play you guys some art real quick while I go to the bathroom real quick.
I do love snails. But my favorite animal to draw. Oh, let me think. Um, yeah, guinea pigs are s super difficult to draw. My favorite animal. I think my favorite animal might be snails is up there. It might be frogs. Frogs are also quite difficult until I sort of figured out a method. Each animal, I have to figure out a method to make it look good. There's only so much you can do if you really try to match the anatomy for it to look good. But it's really when you get in that state where you're really loose and you can, and you can really just uh, kind of flow. And you kind of can move apart from the, from the, from that actual anatomy and just sort of make it a fun cartoony and use like, really get into the shapes and have fun with the shapes. That's when it's, that's when it's really fun. So I really like frogs and, and newts and stuff like that. Um, what else do I like to draw? Snails are fun because I don't have to worry about arms and legs. They're like a great, the, sh the shell, snail shells are very, very tough. I would challenge anyone to just freehand draw a snail shell. It's very difficult to, to draw, to figure out the movements of a snail shell. Very, very difficult to draw. So that's my challenge. If anyone wants a good challenge, draw yourself a snail shell. Matter of fact, just draw the whole snail. But I actually started really drawing a lot of snails. I, I've always drawn them, but um, when I started playing around with animation on Procreate, I decided to do snails so I wouldn't have to do the arms and legs. So I could practice the animation, practice movement, things like that, but not have to worry about the arms and the legs. Um, although, you know, I, I could have just drawn an animal and simplified the arms and legs, but, you know, they're my fascination. I love animals with shells. I have a, I've always had a love for animals with shells, creatures with shells. Okay, so it's looking pretty good so far. I like it. I like this enough to merge it. Let's go underneath and we'll take our oops. Okay. Maybe that's a good name for this, for now. And also these are all plants that, plant designs that I've made. Plant stamps. So for my little plant thing, but I have to come up with a bunch of other ones. There's a lot of online gals that got me long since beat doing really amazing plants and stuff like that cactus cacti and stuff that's like a it's definitely like a thing i've seen that a lot on um on uh skillshare okay so the bottom makes it bigger i think i'm getting the hang of this thing That's what happens, I do a tutorial on something and then I completely forget. Oh, that looks that looks quite terrible actually. Um, so I need to figure out So 
sometimes it sometimes things don't look good when I go straight anatomy so I, I just have to figure out like a way to make it into his 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 official coloring so of course he has like I don't know if I'm gonna color. I feel like that's kind of light on him. Although I can't tell if it's sand or not. He's got a little bit of a sandy nose. Let's take a look. Oh, oh again, I did it again. Um, let's take a look. No, he has kind of a white nose. Yeah, they confirmed to a ratio, all right. But uh, when you start playing with the the different angles. I'm telling you, I'm at a loss. I've tried to like figure out a good a good way, but I'm 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 at a loss. He didn't, what about his little nose? He needs like a little cute nose. Maybe even like Uh, this thing. So it just has like little, kind of little holes. So maybe we'll just do little round pops. They're kind of not small enough. I feel like it just needs little, little ticks maybe. It might be a little better. Okay. These are all really, they're really dark on him, but I'll just use, I'll use the Disney brush for now, just to kind of darken them up. Actually, I don't even know if I want them that dark. So I'll do a couple of go-overs on that, and then I'll just color the whole thing the Disney brush. Although they are white on the on the bottom, so there's like a white. So that's not bad. see if he needs oh I think I feel like that actually works well for him giving him that little sort of chin type thing I feel like that looks good Yeah, yeah, I you know, I liked the brushes before. I never really had an issue with their brushes. I thought their brushes were always great. The only the only thing that I would do is I would just tweak them. Like I would just change them and tweak them. And that's why I, I came up with the Faves brush set because I just wanted to putting them all on one single thing and I had them changed, I had them tweaked to exactly the way that I like it. So when I was doing the tutorials and stuff, I just wanted people to use the brushes the way that I had had them set because sometimes they're they're different. I mean, I don't even know what the differences were, but now uh, that's the great thing about making my own brushes and sort of making them from scratch, like and especially recording it. So if I need to ever look, um, that's one of the major reasons I started making videos and stuff like that was because when I do certain things or when I draw characters, it's nice to go back and look to see what method and what technique works. Yep. Do you remember how you said? I am live, just so you know. Oh. Never mind. Well, what's up? I need your help with something. When you're done. Okay. Thank you, honey. All right. 
let's see. Um, I'm actually pretty happy with this little guy. To be honest. So let's duplicate him. If he had eyes that I do from scratch, because sometimes the 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 um, the eyes that I make when I'm doing the rough sketch, they need some some working, reworking. I can hear the cat already. Alright, so which one do we like better? I mean, I think this one looks oodles better. But that's also the reason I... I often have to redo the eyes and just kind of clean them up. But you know what we'll do? So I really like this one. So I'm going to just group these. In case I want to change the eyes later. So for this, I'm going to do the same thing. Thanks, Procreate. love if anyone can tell me what I did just there to make this thing do what it did. And actually it was weird. It didn't seem like it even like crashed because it opened right to my project. Very odd. So let's let's try another let's try another uh, ooh, what brush am I using? That was weird. I will... I'll be right back. I have to go see what my fiance needs. Where did I leave off? I think I left off around here. So I'll be right back.
this actually looks... Why does that look so weird? It's very dark, but that's more accurate to what it looks like. in different positions. And to try to get their eyes so they look actually correct. mouth open so it looks believable. And I am aware that turtles do not have teeth, but it's a lovely thing called artistic license. You know, let me use the other brush. Let me use my Disney brush. And I'm going to bring this up over Disney Smoke because I don't really know when I'm going to use Disney Smoke. But this is great because it's like, it's a multiply brush, so it's just going to add on to whatever it touches. are awfully small in this one, aren't they? The eyes should be around the same size as much as possible. And actually, this, this line, there's probably little like technical things I could do much differently, but that's okay. I guess this one is kind of important. I'll make it small. The original, the original one. But this face is actually worked out very well. So let me add the picture of this guy in there. Always got to give props to. The people that you oh why do I why am I always on the wrong layer when I do that? Got to get props to the folks that take these amazing photos that really boost my my uh, 
inspirational, my ins my aspirations, my inspirations. I don't know what the right word is. But I have to draw some more turtles in here. Um, but this guy is cute. I feel like... I'm trying to remember how to... How I drew him. I just try to do like quick versions. This so all looks horrific with these lines. Oh, it does have a playback feature. You, you, you have to set it before you start the canvas. You, um, well, I mean, it's automatic. It's automatically on, but you can set it to do high, low, different resolutions as well. Okay, so... His head is here. I kind of want that lovely shell. My neighbors are so loud. There's one thing that I can count on not getting. It's peace and quiet. Why is 
this? Oh, maybe that looks better. These are supposed to be quick sketches. So I'm trying to give him a... I usually don't draw my characters sad because they look too sad. And it makes me sad. Actually, his mouth is a bit low because compared to how I've been drawing his mouth. It's better to get rid of this line. Even though he does have kind of a wide mouth, but... Okay, I, I have a tendency to make, uh, to make my characters with big, um... like mouths and noses and stuff when they don't really have them. So I always have to pay attention to that.
Oh, that looks much better. How did we say his coloring is? I guess something like this. Just give them a little bit of color. I should probably just get rid of this one. Anyway, I look kind of, I kind of like it. So, last but not least. Okay, and that's pretty much, that's how I make my Instagram post. This is the one that I just did. That I didn't even sign, like a dum-dum. But, oh, this guy's cute. Um, Alright guys, I think I'm going to head out now. Maybe get some food. But I will be on probably around 11 p.m. About 11 p.m. I'll be on. I might do some Nomad Sculpt. I kind of want to make a little, uh, a little candy corn character, so I'm probably going to do that in Nomad Sculpt later on tonight. Maybe earlier, but probably around 11 p.m. So, all right, I will see you guys, uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Keep drawing, and I'll see you guys in the next video. All right. A little precursor. Oh, my loud my loud neighbors are going somewhere. I can hear them in the hallway. Something like this, but cuter. I just want the colors. I want a good depiction of the colors. Save. There we go. Nomad, here I come. Excited.